Today's story is about the legacy of a gentleman named Alex, a devoted husband and father whose life was tragically cut short in an unforgiving event. Alex grew up in the 1950s, graduated high school in the 60s, married his wife Jennifer, and had kids. Following high school, he became a pilot for the U.S. Air Force and later owned his own private airport in the backyard of this house. But in 2005, Alex took off in his airplane and had an emergency landing. But it wasn't on the runway. It was in a field in his backyard. Alex was killed when the plane's engine stalled just after takeoff and it crashed into the woods about a hundred yards from this house. It was so bad that rescue officials had to use a crane to retrieve the aircraft stuck 40 feet up in a pine tree. Unfortunately, Alex passed away, leaving behind his wife and children, and for unknown reasons, the family left behind this house. Alex's love for flying was only surpassed by his love for his family. But sometimes fate has a cruel twist in store for us all. It's a very heart-wrenching turn of events. Alex met his demise in a plane crash, but not in the far reaches of the sky, but in his backyard, shattering the tranquility of the family's estate and leaving behind a void that could never be filled I didn't realize this happened until reporting the news on this video. And that's when my jaw hit the floor when I found out the true story. Now let's step inside. Maybe we can all figure out why the family abandoned this house. What's up, Rangers? So before we begin today's episode, I want to tell you that I would like you to join my Patreon page. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash Ranger Rick TV. And by your pledge of $2 a month, you'll receive a simple thank you by me in the tier one package. For $5 a month in the tier two package, I'll feature your name in the ending credits in each video, plus a simple thank you as well. If you do not wish to pledge, that's okay. Thanks anyway, now enjoy the show. All right, what's up guys, welcome back. Okay, so if you know me, then you know the routine and you know the drill. I wanna make it seem like as if you were the owner of this house. How would it feel if you were the owner coming through this door right here, and that is the front. So let's take a full tour. I'm gonna to give you a full tour of this place starting right now. So we got a couple of options. We can go to straight ahead, which I believe is the kitchen. We could take a left or we could take a right. Let's go ahead and take a right, see what's going on in here. Now this place does have some power, but not a lot, believe it or not. And I really do feel that somebody is still living here. I think what happened, one of the residents that once lived here now has returned and is living inside squatting and nobody knows about it but you'll see some evidence as we go along that squatters may be living inside of here with families. I don't know yet, I'm assuming, but it could be true. I'm just here to document history. And if I do happen to run into somebody, hopefully I don't, because my heart will end up in my throat. <laughs> and uh, that would be the end of that. <laughs> but let's see what we can find. I don't know why this chest is like this against this window, but that's the current story of it. I don't know why, but let's take a look. Can we open this? No, we can't, it's like stuck. It's just closed, it looks like. It's just closed. What is in here? 
hopefully something good. More clothes. I know there's gotta be a gun somewhere in this house. Gotta be. No. No, it doesn't open, it's like stuck. Does this have a... No, it's all stuck too. Let's go straight ahead. See what we have over here first. Now when you come into this place, you do have a bathroom. That is the bathroom. Nothing too special. I do like that mirror. With the tile floor. That's really neat. Anything inside of here? No, yeah, just a hair dryer. All right, let's keep it moving. Still going along the stairwell. And as you go in here, this is the kitchen. I'm actually gonna save this part for last because I just got that feeling that I should. There's a lot to look through in here. As you can tell, let me turn the light on a little bit, brighten it up. That's kind of what it looks like. That is really weird. Do y'all see that? This is what I'm talking about. I think somebody is secretly still living inside of this house. Turn that exposure down just a little bit so you can see. You see that? That is on. But why just that? I think somebody's still living here. Let me turn around and show you something real quick. Okay. You see this door right here? This is the only door you cannot open in the house. It's got two locks, skeleton key and a regular key. Try to open it, push hard as you can, it won't open. Somebody, I think somebody's living in there. But of course they don't want to mention it. But I just got that, that knacky feeling that somebody's definitely living inside of that room. I'm gonna leave that room alone for now. Let's come back to that. Let's see if we can find a way in. I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this house. And that is the upstairs. Let's continue downstairs. Let's go in that room. All right. This is what it looks like in this room right here. We're going in and believe it or not, this place does have power. When I flick the switch, see that? Power flicks right on. Let's keep it off for now. But I'm just letting you know the power does work still. Barely, but it does. Beautiful windows that I'm not going to be able to look outside, unfortunately. You could tell this place has seen better days. That's animal feces all along the couch. What's the, what's the sofa actually look like? Oh, kind of like this on the side. And I'm guessing this is a matching set to that. It's the wingback chair. But that wingback chair, actually, yeah, it's like a matching set. That wingback chair looks the same. Let's get a closer look. Yeah, this is, what, th this is what's up. I love this style furniture in old houses like this. Look at that. It's like bur the burlap is coming out of the sofa. That looks expensive. Very expensive. This place is beautiful though, in its own right. This is definitely gonna spot, uh, find a spot on my channel for sure. Beautiful looking fireplace here. French rush hour. Some kind of music, I guess. Look at the, look, look at the sconces on the wall. How beautiful. Is, oh. How beautiful is that? That looks beautiful. Ouch, 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 ouch. Wow, this is beautiful. This is so gorgeous looking. So many beautiful trees and vines surround this place. Gorgeous. Okay, I didn't do the history yet on this, on this house, but I'm going to for the intro. It says $4.50 right here. So it makes me think somebody died in this house. They had an estate sale. They were selling off as much furniture, furniture as they possibly could. And this is what we end up with. Stuff that did not sell. 
Now, what is this room all about? Let me brighten that up a little bit. This room, uh, I don't think it has power. I already looked through some of this room, and it does not have power. It looked like they used a weight set for something. I guess working out when they were bored. Who knows? If you can tell in my voice right now, I'm a little bit nervous being in here by myself. I don't know what's going to happen. I just want to bring you the best content as possible. I really do. But some places are just better left untouched, but I am quite nervous. All right, so we have these books right here. And it looks like whoever used to live here liked plants, and they also love to cook too. A lot of cookbooks. And look at this right here, beautiful fireplace inside this room, gorgeous looking. Oh man, I wish I had this in my house. That doesn't look like a, no, that's like, let me see. Yeah, that's porcelain. That's not real logs, that's fake. Definitely runs on some kind of gas. Oh my God. <laughs> but I'm so fascinated by all of this. And I love how you guys like my content. So I'm like programmed to get inside of these places and just film as much content as possible for you, you know? The beautiful wool looking rug right there. Nice wool rug, probably worth about a grand maybe more beautiful looking floor too it looks like they used to have a chandelier that they probably sold off on the estate sale just didn't want it anymore and that's what we're left with back in the main hallway in the front door I don't know if you guys can hear this on camera. Let me get real close to this lamp because it seems like the power is still running in here, as you can tell. And you can hear, let me get real close to it. Tell me if you can hear this on camera. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's a slight buzzing noise. I don't know if I should unplug that or not. Yeah, maybe I should because if I don't, might catch a fire. And we want to preserve these time capsules houses as much as possible. All right, um, I think I'm done with the downstairs for now. I want to come back to the kitchen, but let's go upstairs. Really got to keep a close eye on that door. I really do feel like somebody's staying there right now. <sighs> I think somebody's living in here still. It's gotta be. All right, we just made it upstairs. Let's see what we have up here. Let's go straight ahead and see what we can see. Oh, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Wow. I wonder if that light works. Does it? Let me flick it on and see. Oh yeah, it does work. Wow. What does it look like outside? Hey, this place is completely surrounded by trees and bushes. We take a quick zoom in on those columns. Look at those beautiful columns, y'all. This is stuff we're preserving. Preserving on these Urbex channels, including one like mine. It's just, we're preserving history because these places are not gonna be here forever. And if we could sit here and document these places, you could look at these places on YouTube for free forever. That's why I like you guys joining me on my adventures. So right now we are on the second floor. As you can see, we have a third and possibly a fourth floor. So what is in this hallway here? What is a closet? Oh, it's a pretty nice looking closet with books and everything. Somebody's tripod. That's a nice looking tripod there, actually. It's a huge tripod. Yep, that comes on. See that? Look. It does come on. Let me turn my light off so you can get the full effect. Yep, comes on. All right. 
Oh boy, I do not want to be up in here no more. <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> but I have to show you because this is my job. Can we open that? No, we can't open it. Like, there, like there's some doors in here that just won't open. And we will never know what's behind these doors, ever. Ew, that's disgusting. Okay. Let's go in the green room over there. All right. Here we are, walking into the green room. I call it the green room because it looks like jade green walls all over the place. Look at this. This is just a mess. This is what makes me think somebody's actually squatting in here. And look, we got shoes and everything still left behind. Is this shoe? Wait. Oh no, they're all empty boxes, it feels like. I don't know that those are. That's good to go. Beautiful looking sweaters and everything. This must have been a man's room or something. Keep on stepping on stuff. What am I stepping on? Underwear and everything else. Looks like some uh, dogs right here. Hunting ducks, hunting dogs. Look at that bed. Oh man. This is definitely a gentleman's room or a young man's room. Look at all these nice looking beautiful ties here. Athletic laces for your shoes. A Sony boom box. Do they still call them boom boxes? I have no idea. This is all like Latin music. Huh. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. Beautiful looking pictures too. Oh man, I'm so perplexed by this place. I'm very perplexed. I can't even concentrate right now. I'm just like zoned out into my own world here. Nothing left in here. These people did not want you to know the address at all. There's no addresses whatsoever I can find on this place. Unless you look at the mailbox out front. Everything else is completely gone and wiped out. As far as in pictures, and journals, obituary papers, pictures of the family, all of that's gone now. Let's see what's in this drawer. I don't think this is really nothing here. Yeah, it's just a bunch of nonsense. Ooh. I actually need a set like that for my glasses, but I'm not gonna take any. What the hell is that? Ew. Ooh, I got something on me. It's like a lotion or something. What is that? Yeah, it's like a lotion. Oh, I gotta take a bath. What the hell is that? Did I just touch? Is it mascara or something? I can't bend down all the way because I got a huge backpack on my back. But I'm gonna stick the camera up underneath the bed. Let's see if we can see. Me, nee, nothing really. All right. Let's vacate this room because I think we did our job here. Unless y'all want to read some books all day long, which I do not because I want to explore the house. Oh, wow. Now you can definitely tell this is an old house. Does this light work? Oh my goodness, it works. Oh, look at that. Pecksniffs England Men's Bath and Shower Gel. So, like a lot of this stuff looks kind of current. Kind of. I wonder when they abandoned this house. See, can I back up a little bit so I can actually show you what the bathroom looks like? It's pretty tight in here. So that's kind of what it looks like. It leads to the jade green room. Let me turn this light off as I go out. Nice looking, beautiful looking shower head too. Everything's all gold. Blue wallpaper. Um, excuse me, blue, blue tiling. Why did I say that wallpaper? See, I'm so mixed up right now. So nervous. This is the side backyard. So that's the front of the house. Now we're heading to the back. 
couldn't be more nervous. My heart is pounding in my chest right now. All right, here we go. This is the next room. I want to seem more excited about it, but honestly, y'all, this is, this is intense. <laughs> I'm still trying to comprehend this place. This reminds me of that house that I did in Birmingham, Alabama, where they had that red room. I'm getting the same vibes. Not only the same vibes, but the same smells. I think everyone here knows what I'm talking about. You ever walked into a house that's just really musty smelling? It smells just the scent of old. That's what this reeks of. So that's why I'm a little worried. Let's see what we can find in here. It's a nice looking desk. Can we open it? Yes, we can, but there's nothing too good in here. I thought for a second this was a, a family photo, but it's, it's a not. It's just a stock photo for this piece right here. It's a very old, very, very old radio. Can we turn it on? Oh, on off? Oh, it's already on, but it's, yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. What is in this closet here? Looks like catcher's mitts up top. Nice looking black and brown leather catcher's mitts for a baseball. They do have a laptop right there. Yeah, I don't think I should turn it on. I really want to turn it on, but mm, I'm thinking about it. I don't know yet. Got some pens, pencils. It looks like they like to write a lot. I wonder if this still works. Uh, how you turn this on? All right, I'm not gonna worry about it, but look at all this nice in etched leather desk, all wood, beautiful looking windows. I'm gonna show you all the backyard. Unfortunately, that is the backyard. It's got a little shed in the back too, like a little garage. I'm gonna show you all that too. Let's see, what is in here? See, this is what I'm talking about. Some rooms in this house will not open. We will never figure out what is inside these rooms. All right, that's that. Okay, let's head into the next room. All right, coming from the jade green room, we're going into the yellow room because it looks like yellow walls are inside of this room. That goes to nothing. I don't know what this piece of wood is doing here. It's got nails all over it, look. What is in here? Nothing. What about this one? Empty closets, nope, nothing. Looks like Dr. Scholl's up there. Here's a weight bench. Whoever lived here definitely looked like they love to work out because there's like weight bench equipment all over this place. Nothing. The hell is that? Oh, that's makeup. Clothes. That's tampons. I, I think. Nothing. Not toothbrushes. Okay, let's look over here. Oh, can I get through? Yes, I can. All right, here we go. More furniture to look at and look through. Nope. Well, that won't go back now. Ooh. All right, I'll get that later. Uh, there's a measuring tape right there. Nothing of interest though. to attempt to go on the third floor. However, I do see a room right behind on the second and a half floor. So let's look inside of it, see what that is. That's the backyard. We're still towards the back of the house. Looking down from the second and a half floor, looking down to the first. There's like a little secret passageway back here. Ooh. 
Is this the attic? Wait a minute. Now I'm confused. I thought that was the attic. Oh, almost tripped. Actually, I did trip. This room does absolutely nothing. I guess this is like a bedroom back here. I don't think this is a master. Close this door. See, they still have power on. Look at that. Y'all see that? It's like a little, it's like the lights kind of like jumping up and down. It's like a little Edison bulb in there. Huh. I'm not gonna touch that. This is a little toilet room. Whoa, it's got a shower in here too. Oop, had it on 35 mil. Let me put it on 16. Yep, there it is. Look at this. It won't stay on though. This one probably has power too, maybe. But this one's up this one's upside down. That one doesn't work at all. One thing I do love in abandoned buildings and abandoned houses is windows that look like this. This does not disappoint. Lovely, lovely, lovely looking windows. And I like how the vines are just taking over the back. Look at this. Mother Nature at its finest. Although vines for your house are not that good and healthy for your house, they look beautiful on it, that's for sure. I know they carry a lot of bugs. As I, I'm not even joking. When I was over there looking outside, this light just turned on by itself. I don't understand how I did that, but it did. Let's get out of this room, shall we? Yeah, I'm out. Now we're on story 2.5. That is the third story, which leads, I think, looks like an attic area. So let's go ahead and look at it before we cannot anymore. I don't know how much longer this house is going to last before they demo it, but at least we can explore it and document it while it's still here. Not too much going on in the attic. What is that over there? Guys, I don't know what this is, but it looks like some kind of art. That's very heavy, whatever it is. It looks like some kind of artwork, like a sculpture maybe. I'm guessing that's what it is. And look at this. Shoot, they removed the banisters around the staircase outside and they put it all right here for some reason. Yeah, all the wood's rotted and it looks like this attic will wrap around on the other side to the left hand side. What is over here? Whew. I'm breathing so heavy right now. It really like, all right, I'm not saying I believe in the paranormal or something like that. Nobody's occupying the house, but then again, there might be. Yeah, look at this. We even have flies. But yeah, when you know, like, back to what I was saying, I'm having trouble breathing right now because it's like I'm hyperventilating almost because I'm like way too on edge right now of what's going to happen and what's about to happen. I just have a bad feeling that somebody is still lurking behind one of these doors or one of these walls inside this house. All right, let's go back down. This is gonna be the hard part. All right, let's go. Let's look down here first. Make sure nobody's popping out. All right, here we go. Now I'm on story 1.5 and you can actually catch the kitchen on story 1.5. Let's go in, let's see what we got. Definitely looks like somebody's living down in here in this area. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Okay. What is this? Uh, let's open up this. 
okay. Nothing inside. It's still cold in there though. Very cold. Nothing in here. All right, let's wrap ourselves around. See what we got. That thing is on. I'm gonna show you that in a, in a minute. Hold on. It's an Alexa machine. Can we turn these lights on? Or is this the, no. Oh yeah, that is a light. It's only one light. I'm gonna turn that off actually. I'm gonna just use this light for now. Oh, I'm stepping in cobwebs too. This is their pantry it looked like on the, on the side. Look at the old stove. I don't know if you heard that on camera, but the Alexa machine said door three is open. So something definitely makes me think someone is possibly still lurking throughout this house. So I thought it was in my best interest just to leave and explore the outside. But I'm almost positive that somebody is still living in that room with the locked door. guys so here we are we're outside right now looking at the pool area and this is kind of what I see a very depressing looking pool for sure nothing really going on here all right let's keep it moving taking a look at outside the house it looks like they used well water here at one time that's nothing but a big well beautiful vines growing up the whole ceiling all right so you remember that? Oh shit, almost tripped and fell. All right, so you remember that room that was locked on the other side that I couldn't get in? It's actually this part of the house. But the thing is, you can't see through the windows. It's all boarded up. And that, my friends, we will never know what's on the other side. It is locked tight. Let's go around here and see what we can find though. Oh, I don't see a way in on that side of the house at all. All these windows are just boarded. That room is forever locked. All right, so we do have this part of the house too, which I think is the garage area, maybe a little gazebo get together area. I'm gonna go inside of it and see what we can find. All right, since I'm not showing you guys the basement, I wanna show you this. All right, what do we have here? It looks like, looks like a little shed, maybe a little horse stable or something. Yeah, this has had to, yeah, I think this is where they kept horses and stuff. Maybe some farm animals and whatnot. Oh yeah, it's all caved in. That will conclude the end of this explore. But as you can see, there's still some questions left unanswered like, why is their power still on inside? Why is their Alexa machine still plugged in and operating? And most importantly, who or why is someone living in that room with the locked door? This really intrigues me to go back and find out. But right now, I think it's best to just leave it be and come back another time. Maybe, just maybe, there might be a part two. Who really knows? But I hope the family is finally at peace. <laughs>